Yeah, yeah I want to watch that again. But it's, it's the creepy touch down. Like yeah. he, he, he whispers, and I guess he's letting her go, and he runs his arms down, her, her, her hands and her shoulders and her arms, and then he backs up, and then Ashton touches his wife. It's yeah. weird. He's but, caressing her. Yeah. He's caressing it's her arms caress. now. And it's definitely possessive. Like the way he takes his hands off, it's like we're doing this on my terms. Right. Ugh. Trust and confidence. I've got a lot of thanks to give out here. First and foremost, to my perfect <laughs> wife, Stephanie. Did you say perfect? My wonderful son, Will. Did. And why did she look back with, with, uh, with his hands are no longer on her, her shoulders? And she, do you see the look back? Yeah, What's I think she's about? just like, look, all right, to just, did he bump you back her off? Hiding? Maybe. I don't know. Let's take a look at that. Maybe he, he bumped her height. Look, it look, yeah. You think so? He might have just he might have done the knuckle graze that old Jimmy Norton did when he was in high school. The old double knuckle graze across the cheeks. Yeah, or you're walking in a crowded bar and you do that. And you gotta, you know, mm. you put your hand. <sighs> Dude, I would go home and cheeks. jerk off. It's called frottage. And I would go home and jerk off and think about the asses I bumped. And if I got a double cheeker, that was like a really great for like a couple did, of hours. This was in school? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. In the hallway, like yeah. in, in between classes? I would Glasses take over one cheek, and then when I if I felt the crack, and then went to the other cheek, that was a good graze. I would go grazing all every day. Really, but there have to be there have every to be a pack day. though, right? It wouldn't just be some girl like walking down the you'd hallway, think, just you and her. You'd it, think so. What, it wasn't even a crowded hallway because that's when you could pull it off. One time, I told you, I walked by. We had a substitute gym teacher who was who turned out to be a full time gym teacher who was gay, and it was it was in the swimming pool area, and her ass in a bikini was so nice. It was probably a one-piece bathing suit, and I'll never forget walking by her. It was her standing at the edge of the pool and me walking by her. <laughs> no one else was there, like, in that area, and I gave her a fucking double-cheek graze. Wow. I couldn't help it, and I felt her turn around and look, and I knew that if I turned around and looked, I was dead. Right. I knew if I acknowledged it. I, you know, you, I yeah. felt her right. stare, and I kept walking like I didn't have a care in the world. Like it was an accident. Total accident. But if you did look, uh, yeah, if you look back, then everyone knows what I you was just did. fucking, she would have screamed at me, and probably I would have gotten in trouble. But uh, I just kept walking, and I just never looked back. But I, I, I think I might have grabbed her ass once in the hall, too, but that was in a crowd. Mm. That was a teacher ass. I grabbed, like, one or two teacher asses in my life. Wow. But that was in a crowd. None of the teachers said anything. Oh, they might have, but I mean, it might have just been like a really good pat graze, like not a full one. One girl's ass I grabbed, like I actually felt it, and she's like, "Who did that?" <laughs> <laughs> she was a senior, and I was a freshman. I had such a big crush on her. I thought she was so sexy. That's brave, man. Did you that, that, no, that was a crowded auditorium, like right. dark. There, there, there was almost no chance of getting caught unless, you unless my hand it? fell off. No, <laughs> no, I kept it under no, my hat. You did. The only way to get caught is if, like, Walking Dead, if my arm would just broke off and got stuck to her ass. <laughs> but that was the only way. I was very careful. That's really brave yeah and then you would go home and jerk off thinking I would about that rolodex flip flip oh yeah there was kim flip oh yeah there was mrs whatever her name was Kaduk, <laughs> the old double cheeker yeah <laughs> but i mean I, I kind of understand that so maybe that's what he did we uh when the drinking age was 18 and we were in the bars it's embarrassing to say but we would do et's or the elbow tits uh, oh yeah definitely elbow tits but did he call it et's mm, no just we elbow so tits pretty much we were so and then we we're like okay it's your turn and then we'd watch one of our pals walk through the bar and you know get an et done and we, then we'd be high fiving like faggots like we were like the greatest thing ever yeah well, so you, embarrassing you in a mild assault what's wrong with that <laughs> but then we always brushed a hand on the ass and especially in a packed bar as you're walking by I, our thing was ETs. Oh God! Thank God I don't hang out with those people anymore. You're you still doing I, ETs? I became the cool person in my group. Those guys are still doing ETs in the probably. Think, I'm yeah, assuming but, they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a the abbreviation. It's just Center abbreviation somewhere. that sounds bad. Elbow tit is a good word. It was it was uh, very douchey to say the least. Yeah, but we didn't know what we were doing. Just for, you know, we're idiots. We're not getting right. laid. We and think the, we are. We're the guys just standing there. Everybody else, right. all the other dudes are picking these chicks up. And if the girl had a big set, it was a it was a real big deal, you know, to try to get an ET on that. Oh, yeah, God. you ever rub your dick over the cheeks when you're walking Hell by? Hell, fucking no. Oh, many times in the bar, not like in no, person. That was a tougher man. one to get. You have no. to put the old excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. You would do it once or twice. When I could get away with it, but that was not an easy one. So really? Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Yeah. That, that takes a lot of balls. So that's in a crowded hallway or whatever where you're all assembly or whatever? Yeah, the E.T., I mean, it, you know, you're just walking with your arms. That's easy. But it's uh, easier to do actually, it in a bar when everyone's drinking. Yeah. To actually people. push your penis up up against a girl, that's brave. That's cr I got to say it's crazy and brave. Were you all charged up? 
Yeah. <laughs> but you never jerked off in school? Because I, I can't see you waiting to get home. No, I, I went to uh, Linwood Middle School, and I lived four houses away in middle school. Yeah. So I would cross the street, go home for lunch, tug my prick, and feel embarrassed that everybody knew I had jerked off when I went back. And I would come all over my sheets and then leave my I would just wipe it up with my sheets. I've told the story before, but then my grandmother one time was helping me change my sheets, and she saw the big, the giant, crusty load, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I spilled Pepsi in my bed." I told her, Pepsi, yeah, Pepsi. I think Grandma knew. Of course she did. Okay, she probably smelled it from outside the room. <laughs> She's... So you would go home at lunchtime and jerk off, and they come back. Yeah, and yeah. How and often? Four out of five days. Of <laughs> and your parents weren't home, or were they home? At... I think my mother was home. What was your excuse that you had to go home four or five Not days just for a lunch. week? It was, it was so quick, dude. You could literally see it was right across the street. It was so close. Oh, that's very convenient. Yeah. Did they ever wonder, like, why wouldn't you just want to have lunch with your friends at school? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't remember. Do you? Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> she wanted to go home and jerk off instead. Yep. So you never rode a bus. No, in high school I did, but before that I did not. I walked when I was a kid, and I took that, and in my high school, Yeah. Um, I think I rode, the, yeah, I rode the bus for my four years of high school. Three and a half years of high school. Too good. All right, back to Biden. So what are we looking for? We're, at, we're the back ass. to the shoulders. We want to see if we, he brushed his hand against the ass on the way down. Yeah, because she, she looks back out of nowhere, like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I thought I was done with you uh, harassing me. All right, here we go. Up here. First and foremost, to my perfect wife, Stephanie, my wonderful son, Will, and my daughter, back. Ava, already mentioned. A number of folks who were part of my transition team and helped me get where I am and without whom uh, I would not be where I am. And I won't name each and every one of you, but I'm looking at you, and I appreciate it. It was a... Uh, uh, mm. a, 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 a time when I really needed help, and I got help. Man, I thought there was more to it, but that was about it. What kind of help did he need? Is he an alcoholic? I don't know. I don't know anything about the guy. His wife keeps sleeping with other politicians. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Allegedly. Sam's, Alleg Sam's joking. Of course, it was a joke. Yeah, that's, that's... Only be taken as such. Yes. So yeah, that's the montage. He's done this a bunch of times, so... That is, that, I that is what really the son, strange. When he said when he said something about the son in the audience, his son's looking like Biden's got his hands all over my mom. Right. I love what the hell's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's. Uh, wow. Phones are lit. Let's uh, start with Frank in the Bronx. Frank, what do you got, buddy? Good morning. Good, Good morning, Frank. gentlemen. Hello, uh, Frank. I worked uh, at a place down in Delaware where uh, the VP is from. It's a. Uh, to like a beer house right on the beach, and um, I guess of what they call it a fucking local pub right there. I think you know the area, but anyway, every time he came into the bar, first his guys would come in first, but every word that came out of his mouth, like, oh, this fucking beautiful fucking day out. I love this fucking place. Look at that fucking chick in the, in the, in the bikini out there. I mean, the guy cursed like a bartender. That's what I love about him. Yeah, he's, um, uh, he seems... I, go ahead. I'm, I'm thinking he said to her when he, like, rubbed his arm on her back... He smelled something. He asked her if she was on a period, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you smell pennies? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it smells like copper. He smelled like he was dying or something, like standing fish. Uh, one other thing. Um, yeah. I want to call it just to do this almost every day if I can get through. Slobo, what'd you have for dinner last night, you fat bastard? <laughs> That's inappropriate. Yeah. Sorry. That's not, just no reason for that. But yeah. I, I, an answer would be nice. <laughs> uh, let me, uh, God, everyone wants in on this. Uh, Remy in Missouri, go ahead. The best part is as soon as he lets her go, he looks around smiling at everybody like he's getting an outfit with his friends or picking up a girl at the bar. <laughs> and, yeah, he's, he's pretty much showing the world, look what I am. Look what I was able to accomplish. You're at, where'd you go? This We're Remy? talking to you. Well, oh, I had a good joke. What's your last name, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Yeah, we, uh... Licka. Uh, Matt in Winchester. Matt! Yeah, I'm thinking it's like the movie Hitch. Maybe he's learning from Clinton, and Clinton's going, no, subtle when you pick up a chair. Subtle. <sighs> yeah, maybe, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Mm. Oh, sir. <laughs> maybe we, uh, we'll... Take a break from the phones. Although guys have jerk off stories too. We could try that. I wouldn't mind a good jerk off. All right, let's story. say hi to Wes in Indiana. <laughs> we'll blow off the Biden calls for now. Wes, go ahead. Hey, morning, Opie. Morning, Jim. Good, good morning, morning, pal. Thanks for the jingle. What about Florentine? 
first time, long time. Hey, Florentine, how you doing? All What's right. going on, man? All right. Uh, I heard about the elbow tip, the ET. Uh, made me think about uh, how sad I was in high school growing up. We, we'd go bobbing for apples. We'd call it the bob game. What we'd do is uh, girls walk down the uh, busy hallway, and we'd shove each other. Uh, my buddies, we'd shove each other uh, into their chest with our backs would hit their, their tits. we call it boobs on back. Ugh. And that was our way to touch a tits and then go jack off about it later. Well, I'm starting to... Be your friend to push you into it? <clears throat> I'm starting to think that it really sucks to be a girl. <laughs> they have to deal with this, <laughs> this caveman shit. We used to do... Um, yeah. We used to go ride waves. We'd be on a raft. Yeah. Me and my buddies, and we'd line up where there'd be a girl in front of us like 20 feet ahead. And we just ride the wave and then just grab them because the whole commotion with the wave and the sure. splash and all that <laughs> yeah. shit. You're tumbling and yeah, stuff. Yeah, just grab them and then you just keep and then just lose your raft and then swim underwater like you know 15 feet away and pop up so she didn't know who was doing it because the place was really crowded. Right. Uh, that, yeah, that's pretty smart too. <laughs> and we see them laying on the raft with their legs open, like on the, on their stomach. We just we call it a garage sale. There's a garage sale over there because it's open because their legs are open. So we call it. There's a garage sale right over there. <laughs> And then just, and then ride directly in front of him, a big wave, yeah. grab him, and then just swim away. Oh uh, man, time it just perfectly. God, we're with our parents on the beach, of like course. just hanging out, and of we didn't course. even care. I would do that with my mom on a raft. <laughs>